why using steroids isn't cheating in bodybuilding. There are many people who become outraged by the fact that most bodybuilders don't talk about the one thing that enables them to build bigger, more muscular bodies than the rest of us, steroids. Now, steroids is really just an umbrella term that covers a wide range of hormone-altering chemistry. But the point is, you can't build the kind of superhuman physique that high-level bodybuilders create without altering the body's chemistry. So if steroids give an edge that the rest of us don't have, why isn't it cheating when used for bodybuilding? Well, there are several reasons. One, all high-level bodybuilders use them. Within the bodybuilding world, it's no secret that roids are a big part of the training process. Everyone knows and shares information among themselves about the best compounds and where to get them. Many of them have been talking about steroids for a long time and giving advice on forums, blogs, and in videos. Explain to you the different um, types of cycles where you're most commonly going to see D-ball used. It's not a secret, and it's not like some competitors aren't using them. The playing field is level. Two, steroids are necessary for bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, and I mean high-level, competitive bodybuilding at the national and pro level wouldn't exist in the form it is now without steroids. Bodybuilding at that level is an extreme sport. It's about pushing the human body far beyond its natural limits, in the same way that a Formula One race car helps humans go faster than humanly possible, or sophisticated climbing gear enables mountain climbers to go higher than other humans can go. Human beings love to push the envelope. It's part of what makes us human. Steroids are just another way to test what is possible and go further than anyone has gone before. Three, steroids aren't a magic pill. While steroids can help you push past natural limits, steroids alone will not make you a bodybuilder. You still have to be on point with your training, diet, and rest. To excel at bodybuilding requires expert knowledge of physiology, exercise mechanics, nutrition, supplementation, and yes, pharmacology. But without the intense application of those other factors, the pharmacology won't work. Bodybuilders know this. Four, bodybuilders understand the risks. All extreme endeavors carry some risk. Boxers and football players can risk brain injury and even death to do what they love. The fastest drivers know that one small error could mean they become a wet smear on the racetrack. The tallest mountains in the world are littered with the frozen corpses of those who didn't quite make it. Bodybuilders balance the strain on the ligaments, tendons, and internal organs that can be caused by steroids with the reward of creating a physique that defies nature. Smart bodybuilders also know how to take time off to detox, and many will enlist the aid of bodybuilding-friendly doctors to monitor blood work and liver functions. But, you might say, steroids are illegal in the USA. And you'd be right. Unless given under a doctor's supervision, it is illegal to possess or sell a wide range of anabolic steroids in this country. But a better question would be, why are steroids illegal? According to the Law Dictionary, Anabolic steroids are illegal due to their proven health risks for individuals who take them. Their illegality keeps the general public that may not know the full risks safe from harm. But smart bodybuilders do know the full risks, and smart bodybuilders take precautions to minimize them. But let's see how risky anabolic steroids are, really. First, a few facts for comparison. Nearly 88,000 people die from alcohol-related causes annually making alcohol the fourth leading preventable cause of death in the United States. In 2014, alcohol-impaired driving fatalities accounted for 9,967 deaths, which is 31% of overall driving fatalities. Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year in the United States. This is about one in five deaths annually, or 1,300 deaths every day. In the time it has taken you to watch this video so far, three people have died from cigarette-related diseases. On the other hand, medical literature has demonstrated only three cases of oral anabolic steroid-associated severe liver problems and tumors in all history of anabolic steroid use, which were all related to the excessive abuse in both dose and duration. 
To date, there has never been a single death in history attributed solely to anabolic steroids, whereby the coroner, upon examination of the deceased's body, has marked the cause of death as anabolic steroids. Clearly, the health risks from steroids have been exaggerated, while at the same time, we ignore the risks and deaths from other societally approved substances. The question then becomes, do you think you should be treated like an adult? Be free to decide for yourself what goes into your body and accept the risks, even though there is a possibility that some people would abuse that freedom. I do. And if you drink or smoke, you do too. So you need to ask yourself why these drugs, whose health hazards are very well known and cause the deaths of hundreds of thousands each year are tolerated, but steroids are not. That's a question you should take up with your congressperson and senator. If after all this, steroids still feel wrong to you, by all means, don't use them. There are natural bodybuilding federations that drug test each show, and you are free to train naturally and compete there. But if you want to embrace extreme, professional-level bodybuilding as either a fan or a competitor, you have to accept that using chemistry in conjunction with diet and exercise to produce bodies that are beyond human is not cheating. It's a calculated choice.